Hi, this is Wiz. Welcome to my channel. Today is a very cold day and a very frozen day. And uh, I think we better be into the Audi A4. And uh, today I'm going to talk specifically about the Audi virtual cockpit. So the Audi Virtual Cockpit is basically a 12.3 inches TFT screen. It is powered by a NVIDIA processor and when you turn the engine on you get to the Virtual Cockpit in its full glory. Once you get the principles of the Audi Virtual Cockpit, it is quite easy to use. What you have to keep in mind is that you got different tabs. One, two, three, four, five. The first one is everything related to the car, to the driving assist. The second one comes out when you have an alert or a warning. The third one is about the music control. The fourth one is about your smartphone control. And the last one is about the GPS. For each tabs, you got two views. You can select the views on the command on the steering wheel on your left side. Basically by pressing view, you can change and get to the second view. The second view gives you a bigger speed and RPM gadgets and all the other informations then are in the middle of the virtual cockpit. You command the virtual cockpit exclusively with those buttons here on the left side of the steering wheel. So this is the first tab. It is everything regarding the informations about the car settings and the driving assist controls. By scrolling the wheel here you get access to all the informations that are here. So on the top you have the date and the time, then you get the short-term memory about the fuel consumption, then the long-term memory. By the way you can see what's the fuel consumption of my car. I got 7230 kilometers and this is basically the long-term fuel consumption. Then you get the energy consumer stuff, which I never look. Then all the driving assist features. And then you get the traffic signs. I'm on a very small roads with no traffic signs at the moment. Um, here you have this um, animation with the, the, the car an Audi A4 which doesn't reflect your actual car whatever configuration and color you choose for your A4 you will always have this car displayed on the screen and this is your oil temperature and I have to say that this always stays like that there are no animations there is nothing which is a little bit um, annoying I would say because it's redundant with the picture you have here on the other screen so basically if you choose to stay with this configuration then you end up having twice that car so going back to the um, virtual cockpit then on the here in the mid you have your uh, kilometers your total and your temporary and then down you have the clock you have the signs for the seat belt you have any warning informations we're gonna see them uh, a little bit better than uh, here on the second tab. And then you get here your temperature. On the right, obviously, is the speed and on the left, the RPM. In the middle of the um, RPM, you have the gearbox position. So I'm actually on parking. And then outside of the virtual cockpit, you have the uh, fuel status and you have the uh, water temperature. Moving to the second tab, so also it is important to explain that those arrows here are to move between tabs and then you got two little small signs here on the left and on the right 
every time you have a sign like this here, sometimes you have also signs on the other side. So every time you have this kind of signs, it means that you can access a menu by clicking here. In this specific case, if I click, then I can choose what I want to have displayed right here. I choose to have the fuel consumption, but you can have some other information. You can choose to have nothing, the consumption, the average speed, the driving time, the distance traveled, and the date. I always choose to have the consumption, so I get depressed by any time I drive a little bit sporty and I see the huge fuel consumption of my car. To get then back, you press the back button, or you can also press again that little button and you get back. Moving to the second tab, so this one comes out only when you have a warning, whether is you are missing fuel or in this specific case I'm missing the washer fluid. I like the um, little uh, image here, so whenever you have to refuel your car you can see your Audi A4 with a fueling um, gas station. Uh, it is very well done but it's not moving, it's not an animation, it's just a kind of a picture. Um, if you move the view, you only get the warning in the middle. So that's all you get here. Basically, when you don't have any warning, you don't have this tab. You only got four tabs. Moving to the next tab, which is the one about the music. I cannot put the volume for obvious reasons. So you can uh, select and choose your music directly on the virtual cockpit by moving the scrolling wheel. Then you can go to the next song. And you can see what I was telling you uh, before is now you got two little signs, one here and one here which means that you can access more menus by clicking on whether is the left sign for the, 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 the left one or the right button for the right sign. So if you click the one on the left, then you can select to switch to radio, to move to the SD cards, which I'm actually listening the music to now, go to external audio player, listen through your, um, in my case, iPhone 7 Plus through Bluetooth or having access to the, um, to the Wi-Fi. And I yet have to figure out what is this unavailable. And then you can see that the uh, animation will change. You get access to your uh, album cover. It takes a couple of seconds, but there you go. And if you want to switch to music, at this point you need to press on the right side. This is the only time where I'm gonna use the, the command on the other side of the steering wheel. So if I wanna go to the next song, I press here and I move to the next song. You have uh, redundant information, meaning that if you choose here to go on the menu, on the media menu on the screen, you ended up having exactly the same information. So if you choose, if you have a valid reason for, you can have the virtual cockpit and the central display having displaying actually the, the, the exact same information. But I don't see why you would do that. If you change the view, then you'll get only a smaller version of the music information in the center, meaning that you don't have any more the album cover but you can still move through the music and select the next song this way. Moving to the next tab, it is the one about the phone. So here you have your uh, contact contact list if you stay in this view. If you go to the uh, other view, the screen is bigger and then you see you can access 
here you have a special menu and then here you can get to your call list to your favorites and you can get again to the directory to search your contacts the same what i said before if you select phone here then you end up having exactly the same informations on both screens. The idea of the virtual cockpit and the, the second screen is to be able to display two different informations. For example, having the maps here and having your music here or however you want to set up. And moving to the last tab, this is the best looking one. This is the one you, I actually use to impress uh, people that get into my car. Then you get to the map, which is in my case is Google Maps. You can of course change the view and then you get the map only in the center. But obviously it is not as impressive as having full screen Google Map. Here again, you, you got two signs here on the left and here on the right, meaning that you can access to more menus. In this case, go back to map, last destinations and favorites. And if I press on the other side, then I can select and modify, s modify some options on the map. Yet again, if I go to map here, then I ended up having exactly the same informations on both screen. Usually what I like to have when I'm driving somewhere is to have the, uh, the map here on the virtual cockpit and then having here where there is the music or the radio or if I have to place a call while driving then I would go to the uh, telephone information. But basically mainly I'm having my music displayed here and the GPS with Google Map displayed here. If we go back to the uh, car settings view, you can see if I change view, the information about the, the fuel consumption or whatever information you have chosen on the settings goes in the middle. I like this animation. And same if you move to the uh, map tab then if you select uh, the GPS to navigate to somewhere, you will have the notifications about what action to do while you're driving. You will get them here. So the virtual cockpit is very fluid, whatever animation we decide to do when we go back when we move tab is very very fluid i never had any issues with the uh, virtual cockpit on the audi a4 i have to say that the virtual cockpit is the same the principles are the same for all cars all audi cars equipped with the virtual cockpit the only thing is that uh, if you buy an s or an rs model you have a third option that is to have the uh, RPM. This basically this one would go in the middle here, and then in the in the middle you have the speed and uh, you have the um, the uh, the gear engaged, and then on the side you will have whether is the map, the phone, on all the other tabs that you can. Uh, select here they would be here on the left side and on the right side you get some other informations would i recommend the audi virtual cockpit i would say it depends 
Uh, me liking all new technologies, being a technology geek, of course I love and I really wanted to have a car with a virtual cockpit. If you don't care about technology, if you just want to have the car for the sake of enjoying driving the car and if you like better old style uh, needles, then you don't necessarily need it because you can get the information you have on the virtual cockpit also if you choose not to have the virtual cockpit meaning that you will have anyway a screen in the middle displaying all the kind of information and i believe for the audi a4 you have two levels you can choose if you don't choose any options you end up having the needles the, the standard needles and then a kind of monochromatic small screen in the center and then you have the intermediate options which is to have a better uh, TFT screen here with all the tabs you can choose the same as the uh, virtual cockpit there are no issues with direct sun virtual cockpit is always absolutely visible and I've been asked quite a lot uh, is the virtual cockpit distracting you while you are driving absolutely not I mean at the end you ended up uh, treating the virtual cockpit the same way you would treat a normal um, configuration with the needles so it is not really distracting of course you can always start to play with the commands while you are driving and there you can get easily distracted so you just need to be careful and decide the uh, better moment where you want to change your settings if you decide to do that while you are driving if you choose to have the virtual cockpit in your car you don't necessarily need the head-up display my car doesn't have it and um, Honestly, I'm not missing it because I got exactly the same information, even more on the virtual cockpit. So I hope you learned some things with this video that was about the virtual cockpit and how to use the different settings. If you liked this video, please thumb up, subscribe for more content and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.